Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to another episode of the video blog. Today, uh, in a little bit of, of the rant mode, and, well, I think that the toughest part about technology is is knowing that a lot of businesses start up knowing they're not going to make any money for the, for the first well, bunch of years. Uh, websites like Amazon.com, are they still even making money? I think they are, but I mean, it took years to make money. Um, a, a lot of companies start up and spend money basically looking to be bought out. Well, uh, a few years back, when satellite radio first started up, I became a big believer. Um, in, in spite of the fact that I was still in, in terrestrial radio. Um, I was a believer, number one, because um, I was a big NASCAR fan, and there was finally a way to be able to listen to my NASCAR radio broadcast when I was traveling and never have to worry about where to find it and never have to worry about losing the signal, which if you love NASCAR and you happen to travel like I do, uh, especially when you're traveling back and forth somewhere, whether it's uh, back and forth to, from Ohio to Indiana when we do that to go visit the family, uh, when I go visit my parents in Florida, uh, even when I started traveling back and forth to Nashville. Sunday was always a travel day. It's always a NASCAR day, or mostly a NASCAR day. And, and so I was able to, to, well, finally get the races and never have to worry about dialing from FM to AM and kind of know which radio stations to hit and worry about missing important parts of the race. So I signed on with XM pretty quick, um, and somewhere in my files is an old XM uh, Sony plug-and-play radio, which I wore out a couple of those. I've actually said I've been a big supporter uh, of satellite radio, uh, currently running four XM subscriptions and one Sirius subscription. But a year and a half ago, they announced they were merging. It finally happened uh, back about three months ago, and now the, the programming has finally been merged even further. Now, for me, it's been tough because I've had friends who worked at both XM and Sirius, and some have lost jobs. And, and sadly, I appreciated the programming for both. I said I had one Sirius satellite radio. Um, there's my little audio box uh, that will be going away when the contract is up here at the end of December. Now that they've merged some of the programming, you know, there really isn't a need to have that Sirius just for the couple of programs I like to listen to, just for the fact that NASCAR switched over to there. I can get the best serious package on XM and be covered. Also will be going away is one of my you know, just spare XM radios, the one I kept in the office. This is the XM Roadie. Um, I don't even think they made these radios for a year even. Um, it was replaced quickly by the Rody XT. Um, I've got a great boom box. And that's part of the problem is, is you buy the satellite radio subscriptions and, and all the accessories that come with it. I've got four boom boxes, one for my Sirius uh, one for my, well, which originally was for a, a, a um, what was it? a Delphi radio that they made an adapter so you could fit the Delphi Rody XT in. So I was able to at least adapt it, and a couple of my boom boxes will, will still be able to use them. But I've got this great Kensington boom box, a little table boom box. Sounds great, the best satellite radio sounds, and it only works with the Rody XT. But I don't use it enough. I can deal with the other portable, and so why spend the money? because the programming's duplicated, because XM took away some of my favorite channels like Fred and Lucy and Ethel. Yes, I know they had silly names. They even took away the disco channel Chrome, which I actually found myself missing. Uh, I realize you got to make money. I realize you got to cut costs. But again, having been in radio and seeing it happening in terrestrial radio, I hate to see uh, programming costs being cut back to be able to make a buck. Uh, I wish Mel Carmazin, the the president or CEO or head guy at, at Sirius XM was even worth contacting. I, it's too late for that. But I'll keep a couple of XM radios and, and it'll get me through and when I travel I'll be able to listen to the same music to and from. Or maybe it's just time to finally get the iPod direct connected into the Super Cooper and go from there. Are you an XM or a Sirius fan? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Does it really matter? Am I overreacting? I know a little bit of a rant today.